Hey guys, Jerry here with Tiki 7-1. Today I'm going to show you how I build my indoor grow tent. Uh, works great. You can put it in the greenhouse. You can have it in your house. You don't even necessarily have to have it on a south-facing wall to make this thing work. Uh, I've been in the middle of potting up everything, getting ready to bring everything into the greenhouse, and I've had several people ask me about how I made it, and so I'm going to show you today. It consists of a wire shelving rack. This is a shorter one or less wide. You can actually get them that are four foot wide, which work great for the, the LED shop lights. You can buy the ones with the white light or you can get the ones with the full spectrum, uh, like red, pink, or not pink, red, uh, pink and blue and uh, that lighting, which the plants really like. I do prefer that. But either way, you're going to be fine. But I use the, uh, the shelving and then mylar blankets. Now this is really important because it's going to take all of that light and it's going to bounce it back into the plant so you're not losing as much light. And if you wrap the top of the thing, it's actually going to help hold some of the heat in. Because another thing that we're going to use are heating pads. You can get the cheap little sunbeams from Walmart. Um, with, uh, as long as it's got like three different levels of heat so you can set it on low, medium, or high, you'll be fine. I actually started my plumerias with this cheap little thing here. If you want to get really fancy, you can get the professional seedling mats and you can use those to warm up at your uh, soil. And if you want to get really fancy, you can actually get one of these uh, temperature setting uh, uh, controllers. And what this will do is it's got a little probe on it, put it down in the soil, and when it gets to a certain temperature, it'll shut the heat pad off and it'll regulate that heat to keep your soil right where you want it. And then, of course, you're going to need lighting. But before the lighting, you got to bring power to this thing and what I do is I use just a regular old power strip and I get some zip ties and I zip tie the thing to the side of it. So we'll do that and then the lighting. Of course, uh, if, you, if you have a smaller rack, you're not necessarily going to want the four foot long lights. You can get smaller ones. These are the full spectrum grow lights. The, I think I paid under 20 bucks for this on Amazon. I will find it and put a link down below to all of this stuff. but. Uh, this works really good and you can actually hang it from the inside, put it right up on top and you got light. So let's get to it. So usually the first thing I want to do is I want to get all of my connections uh, squared away, particularly the electrical. I want to make sure this is not somewhere where I'm going to get water sprayed on it. For my indoor grow stuff, I actually use a little water pot that I water with so I don't have to worry about overspray and things like that. But I'm going to mount this about halfway up the uh, shelf so that I have access to power uh, on all four levels. I'm just going to take a zip tie and zip it up. But this shorter rack, I've actually got enough to come all the way around the back side. What I'm going to do now is just kind of wrap this bad boy up here. There we go. You may have to take some little pieces just to kind of hold it in place here. And I'm just going to tuck this in kind of give it a little Christmas wrap look to it. If you do this indoors, you won't have to deal with the wind. <laughs> what I'm doing is taking the shiny stuff and I'm actually taping the mylar to the inside mylar there. That way it's kind of movable. You can move it around. It is the 11th of October and pushing 90 degrees out here today. That's amazing, isn't it? So what I've done now is I've taken uh, the extra and just kind of folded it in on itself and uh, taped it up top. So now I've got a nice little barrier to help hold heat in. I'm going to take one more Mylar blanket and I'm going to work this side right here. Matter of fact, I may cut it down uh, and that'd be fine. I actually had an extra bit of Mylar in the greenhouse. So I'm just going to use this, uh, and same kind of deal, I'm going to tear off a little piece of my sticky stuff here, kind of do it in on itself, and then taper down. I'll cut off this extra here in a minute, and I'm going to go all the way down here and get this taped up and then show you what it looks like. There we go. That didn't take too long at all. All 
All right, so I brought you back inside to show you my indoor setup that I've got in my foyer. This is actually a four foot wide shelf here with the same, same wire rack, just a little bit longer. The smaller ones are work good out in the greenhouse. But I've got the four foot shop lights. These are actually white ones, which are just fine. But I found that I needed to supplement it, and so I'm using these little bendy lights here. It's got the full spectrum grow light colors on it. And it's worked really good. I've done the jubeas I, down on the bottom there. I got plumerias to actually grow through December and January, and they were putting on leaves and actively growing indoors, just using heat pads and the lighting. And the mylar, I think, I really can't stress enough how well I think this mylar works. You could use aluminum foil, and I've got some really old videos where I did that, but this stuff is so easy to work with. It's lightweight. And when the AC comes on, it doesn't make nearly as much noise. Uh, I've got a vent right there. But uh, that's our setup right here. I've got my temperature sensors. You'll notice right here I've got my lighting uh, uh, secured to the side of the thing so I can just turn it on at any time I want. This stuff works really good, and uh, I hope you found it helpful. If you did, uh, leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. Uh, post them down there. I'll answer them just as fast as I can. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we will see you on the next video.